Welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're in chapter 29, verses 10 to 14 today. Then you shall bring the bull before the tent of meeting, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on the head of the bull. You shall slaughter the bull before the Lord at the doorway of the tent of meeting. You shall take some of the blood of the bull and put it on the horns of the altar with your finger, and you shall pour out all the blood at the base of the altar. You shall take all the fat that covers the entrails and the lobe of the liver and the two kidneys and the fat that is on them and offer them up in smoke on the altar, but the flesh of the bull and its hide and its refuse you shall burn with fire outside the camp. It is a sin offering. Okay, so let's think about this business here together for a moment. So the priests here are going to lay their hands, plural, so this is both hands. The priests, they're going to lay their hands on the animal for sacrifice, and they are symbolically transferring their guilt from themselves to the animal. Remember that it's a life for a life, and so the animal's life is going to stand for their life. They're guilty. Any, any uh, inadvertent sin they've done or anything, it all needs to be before they are brought into service, because this is their inauguration, bringing them into service. Before any of that stuff happens, this is the process that's laid out here. They need to lay both hands on the animal, and any sin that's on them needs to be, so to speak, transferred to the, the animal for sacrifice. Again, this is happening inside the courtyard, the screens of the courtyard. This is out there, uh, not in the tabernacle, of course, but outside. And the transfer is, is being visually, you know, observed by people. Some of the blood is put on the four horns of the altar, the bronze altar in the courtyard. And you have the liver, as mentioned. And, you know, a lot of the, the people that took and did entrails, you know, the pagan people, they would take that and they would, they would lay out the entrails of an animal and say, oh, this means this, this means that, so this is telling you the future. Uh, so this is all destroyed. So part of this, the blood is put on the, on the horns of the altar on the corners, but the rest of the animal, a lot of this is just thrown away. And it's not the whole animal that is in this case, in this, in this kind of an offering. Uh, much of it is actually taken away from the altar. It's not sacrificed there, and it is uh, dumped outside the camp. It is addressed outside the camp. So interesting, you know, sometimes we talk about, we have this phrase that Christians sometimes we use, the spilled blood, the spilled blood of Jesus. Be careful, because when we look at the Bible and study this out, we find out that um, Jesus' blood atones for us but the technically in the Bible, when there's the spilled blood is blood that is from the part of the sacrifice that's not used for sacrifice. It's part that's thrown away. So be careful with that phrasing just if you want to be more technically correct. The Bible commentaries tell us that some of these pagan uh, heathen religious things, they would take the livers of animals and they would uh, even had 50 different ways of looking at the way it would lay out and and they would divine the futures, quote unquote, divine it by looking at the entrails. So probably this is a reason why this is taken and God says, hey, take that part and you just just burn it up. Just destroy it. We're not going to not going to use that. We're not even going to look at that. He didn't want any people practicing these pagan rites of laying out the entrails and saying, oh, look, it's uh, it's at 89 degrees. That means this. So we're not doing any of that stuff. We're going to do it God's way. All right. See you tomorrow morning.